Congratulations, Pastor Ed. We are super excited and happy for you. Uh, thinking back in the last 10 or so years that I've got to sit underneath your leadership, the verse that comes to mind is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. It says, This is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. You can sum success in ministry in just one word, and it's faithful. That's right. And we just want to say thanks for being a faithful leader, and we are excited to walk into this next season with you guys. Ed, I'm excited about what the Lord has put on your plate, and I pray for you and the whole church because he hasn't just called you to this work. Your lovely wife, Kathy, and the staff and the whole church, he's called to this ministry and put you in this position to influence the kingdom work and Southern Baptist work. And uh, as a little part I had in mentoring you when you were a young man, I couldn't be more proud and grateful for your willingness to be there for the Lord. Pastor Ed, this is Brent Rawson, First Baptist Church of Satsuma. So excited about your call to be the Southern Baptist Convention President. We are praying for you as a church. Just want you to know we believe that God has called you to this and God's going to do some great things through you. So excited to see what the future holds. Dad, we just wanted to take a second and say we love you so much and we are so proud of you. Words cannot express how much we have prayed for this day and hoped for this day. And we are so thankful that it's here and the Lord chose you for this position. We're so proud of you. Hey, Pastor Ed, I want to tell you uh, how thrilled I am that God has put you in the position to serve this convention as president of the Southern Baptist Convention. For the almost 20 years that I've known you, the thing that has been so obvious in your life is your consistency to the Word of God and to loving others and to exalting the name of Jesus. I'm just so grateful for who you are, and I'm grateful that we as Southern Baptists get to experience that together. I'm praying for you, man. I can't wait to see what God has in store for the kingdom through what you're going to be doing. Hey, Pastor Ed and Kathy and the Redemption Church family, Pastor Hyden here and from my wife Nina and I in Walk Church, we just want to say a huge congratulations. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ed Litton, our new Southern Baptist Convention president, the time is right now. You're the man for this position. God has raised you up for this time, and we are so thankful. We honor you. We're praying for you. We're behind you 100%. And we're just so pumped up right now. Congratulations, Pastor Ed. Good morning, Redemption Church. My name is Josh Litton, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And for those of you that don't know, that guy up there every week in the pulpit that I look like, that's my dad. And dad, I just wanted to tell you, we're super, super proud of you and thankful for you and your ministry. Uh, we're so excited to see what's gonna happen next uh, with all of this, but uh, we're, we're just praying for you and rooting you on from up here. And very proud of you, dad. Love you very much. And I uh, love you, Redemption family. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Pastor Ed, you have and continue to impact so many lives. And I consider myself one of those. Uh, when I moved to Mobile here in 1998 to attend the University of Mobile, I became a member right here. And while uh, attending here, I served on the worship team and in other ministries within the church. And in fact, um, some of my closest friends to this day are part of your staff and your congregation. Um, my wife and I have family members here. In fact, my wife and I sat under premarital counseling with you, and you would have officiated our wedding had there not been a scheduled conflict. Um, to say that I love redemption um, would be an understatement. Uh, I love it for all of those re reasons that I mentioned, but there's one that really does stick out in my mind, and that is the fact that I surrendered uh, to the call of vocational ministry um, in 2001 under your leadership. And I want to connect some dots um, within that regard. You see, I served as a youth pastor here at a sister church in our area shortly after surrendering to that call. And while doing so, uh, the Lord graciously allowed me to pour into two of your current staff members, Travis Willard and Cliff Downey. You see, that's how the gospel connects. That's how the gospel uh, can connect and change lives. And, and that's how the gospel creates disciples that make disciples. Ministry truly is amazing. And it's an honor that God gives us. And he anoints and appoints, right? And, and you know that. But in that process, man, of, of just what God does, we just have to submit to his lordship. 
and then we get to watch what God does. And, and that is exactly what you will do for our convention. I'm excited, so excited that you have been appointed to serve in this position because you are a godly leader, a steady leader that is full of integrity, and you are a brother, a, a gospel companion, and a cherished confidant in ministry. I have and I always will, Pastor Ed, appreciate your kindness toward me and your words of advice. In fact, before I um, accepted the position to serve as pastor at Restoration Church in Citronelle, where I've served for the past five years, I sought your counsel. Pastor Ed, I love you and I am grateful for you. And our congregation has been and we will continue to pray for your family, for our brothers and our sisters here at Redemption Church and our entire convention under your leadership. May the, the, the blessed gospel um, of Jesus Christ continue to be the only banner that you wave in your new assignment. God bless you, brother. Congratulations, Papa Ed. Ed, we love you. Really proud of you. Does that mean we have to call him Papa President? Congratulations, Pastor Ed. Man, I am so thrilled that you are our new president of the Great Commission Baptist. Man, we believe our best days are ahead, and I'm so glad to be under your leadership. Kristen and I are so encouraged by you and Kathy. And so, man, just grateful to go forward together. Honored to be with you, Pastor Ed. Congratulations. Hey, Pastor Ed. Um, oh, my bad, my bad. Mr. President Ed Litton. Hey, this is Chris Bell. And I just want to wish you a huge congratulations for winning the presidency of the Southern Baptist Convention. I can't think of any man uh, more capable and better prepared to lead the convention during this time than you. Your impact on my life just simply cannot be measured. I know that's true of so many others. So I love you, man. I wish you the very best as you lead the Southern Baptist Convention. And I just want to thank you. Thank you for being a faithful leader all these many years. You're a pastor to so many. You will always be my pastor, my mentor. So from me to you and from Three Circle Church, we say congratulations. Man, go lead us well. We know you will. We love you, bro. We're praying for you, and we know you're going to do great things. My name is J.D. Greer, and I am the past president of the SBC. Today, I am but a lowly but very happy pastor of a local Baptist church in Durham, North Carolina. Um, pastor Ed, we want you to know that we recognize that you are the man that God has raised up for this hour. Uh, we recognize, we see the hand of God on you so strongly. You are a man full of grace and truth. You know, one of the things I found most precious during my time as president was that um, whatever trouble that I was going through, that God's grace was sufficient to that. We often say that God doesn't, um, God doesn't call the, um, the sufficient. He makes sufficient those that he has called. And what that means, what that meant to me was that um, when that moment, that trial came, that I could look um, to the hills from whence came my help and that God's grace was always in abundant supply. I want you to know that every single day, thousands of people around the United States and around the world, um, like me, are going to be calling your name and the name of your church up um, up before God. And we're going to be calling on, on, on the Heavenly Father for, um, for you, Ed Litton, and for Redemption Church, um, for God's grace to shine through you, for his face to shine upon you so that your way might be known in all the earth and your salvation among all nations. Know that you are loved. We believe in you. We recognize the anointing and the hand of God on you. And uh, we stand with you and are ready to follow your spirit-anointed leadership. Would you please welcome the newly elected president, Ed Litton, and his wife, Kathy. And Ed is the pastor of the Redemption Church in Saraland, Alabama. Welcome, President Litton. 